dare I try it. <laughs> I, I played it on my 64 mini just by downloading it from the internet. Uh, but I did buy it. Uh, and uh, it does come with a floppy disk. So uh, this is the first time ever that I get to try playing Planet X2 from the 8-bit guy. Look him up on the internet. So um, let's just turn this back on. The Commodore 64, basic bytes free. L shift O, dollar sign, comma eight. Let's see if this actually is loading ready. Uh, L I S T, boom. Um, L, let me see if I remember how to do this. L shift O, quote, Asterisk. Where's the asterisk? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, quote, basically I'm loading the first thing, comma eight, comma one. So let's load string or dollar asterisk, comma eight, comma one. Let's see what happens. Now on the mini, I loaded up immediately. I highly doubt that's gonna happen here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> This is the downside, the deficiency, and again, this was a known issue that the Commodore company didn't care about, which just drives me nuts. Uh, the drive um, was misconfigured, uh, it was an oversight and when they put it into production. And so if you've had a fast loader, it fixed the oversight. Well, ready? Are you in? Kaboom! Um, so if you bought fast load the, the cartridge or whatever, it would fix that deficiency between the communication between the drive and the computer because the drive was supposed to be a lot faster than it was. And it is a lot faster, uh, barring this little deficiency that they put in or that they ignored. <laughs> um, I bought this game a few years back as the first Commodore 64 game I've bought in 30 years. So let's see. Uh, let's see if I can actually play this. Um, F1. I'm not gonna because it's a long game. It's actually it's a it's it's not StarCraft, but it is a real time strategy game where you have to build stuff. Um, as I said the loading is a lot quicker on the 64 mini, but that's expected. <laughs> um, loading map. This guy did a whole video series on how he made this game uh, and released it in 2017. It's actually quite interesting. So, so yeah. It, um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to play it. There we go. Um, it works. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, so thank you, 8-Bit Guy. <laughs> Uh, here's me actually playing your game on an actual Commodore 64 that I just got from a friend. And um, I'm very happy. And it's a great game. Uh, as I say earlier, it's a great computer platform. Uh, it's kind of, uh, obviously, it's completely antiquated by now. 8-bit computers are no longer necessary at all. Uh, this is 100% for nostalgic purposes. Um, Anyway, I think I just wanted to show you guys that. So I will talk to you guys soon.